Hey friends, uh, what I have for you today is a Zelos or Zelos, Zelos, however you want to pronounce it. Um, actually, that's uh, something to talk about because the name of this brand, Zelos, is actually uh, in Greek mythology. It's the name of a of a demon uh, that personifies zeal, and the English word zeal is derived from Zelos. And um, I think in a minute, I'm going to see why firsthand. This is my first Zelos watch. And um, I ordered it on the day that I got the email from uh, Zelos watches about the release, um, the pre-sale the pre -sale, um, of the Swordfish 40 millimeter uh, diver watch. And um, I had been uh, receiving emails of uh, new launches of uh, this brand's watches for some time, probably more than a year, and I first came upon it from, I think, from some kind of EDC Everyday Carry blog online, and um, I really liked their Mako watch, but it was a little bit outside my budget, and um, yeah, I was just kind of waiting for um, a watch that really fit what I wanted, and when the Swordfish 40 millimeter Diver was released um, towards the end of July, of 2020, um, I bought it a few hours after I got the email, and I'm glad I did, because uh, I was gonna hesitate and um, you know sleep on it, but uh, I'm glad I did because, as you can see on the website, uh, zeloswatches.com, it this all the all these uh, the iterations of this model, I think, and there are six, were sold out in eight hours, um, which is crazy, and so. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna unbox this for the first time. I haven't seen it in person. Again, this is my first Seedless watch. I'm just uh, your everyday, um, everyday Joe. I just, uh, you know, I like, I like certain things. I have an appreciation for things that are built well. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm into EDC, um, outside gear, outdoor gear, and um, stuff like that. So this is kind of my first product review. Um, I put a lot of research and time into learning about uh, these products, but um, I think I've talked too much for this intro, so um, I'll put a link in the uh, description so you can jump right to when I start opening this, because I, I hate review videos where people talk too long in the beginning. You kind of have to fast forward a few minutes just to get to what you really want to see. So let's open this up. Um, I ordered this again uh, in July and I just got it today is August 11th and um, I was really surprised because I uh, expected it to get to me uh, much much later uh, because you know it's coming from Singapore I'm in the States and uh, I know it takes time to build the watches first of all um, but I was really surprised that um, you know I got the FedEx tracking information um, it was, I think it was Thursday or Friday last week. And it said it was shipped and it said it was just in transit and there was no expected delivery date for a while. And then all of a sudden it was in Japan on Sunday and then here on Tuesday in uh, Virginia where I live at my doorstep. So I think that was really cool um, that I got it so quickly. So props to Alshon, the owner of Zelos Watches. Thank you for sending this to me. Um, so quickly. Um, I do want to comment up on the box um, before on this like paper, really thick paper um, black uh, covering of the actual watch box um, that the watch is in. Um, so many of the reviews I watched on YouTube and I watched I watched a, a good number um, of different Zillus watches, uh, Z different models, and everyone seems to comment about how this outer case um, is so hard to take off. I don't. I just don't see why it's so hard to take off. Um, and uh, actually, I'm glad that it's it's tight as it can be because it's actually what's doing is it's uh, it's functional. It's protecting this wooden box because you don't you wouldn't want this damaged even though it was mailed in a bubble bubble mailer. Um, so I, I I appreciate that. I think you know that's done on purpose. It's not to frustrate or annoy the customer. So. Yeah, just thought I'd say that because uh, it's 
kind of getting annoyed of everyone commenting about that outer box being so tight. All right, here it is. So yeah, again, this is the first time I'm seeing it, um, you know, with you. So I'm going to open this. I, man, I really like this box. Um, again, I've watched a lot of videos of different Zillus watches and he seems to do a really great job of packaging and, uh, the product and just kind of the presentation is awesome. I really like that logo. I'm going to open it up here. And this is a cool box because, you know, I can use it for the watch. I can use it for other stuff. I'm just going to place this over here. All right, and here's the watch roll. I believe this is a uh, genuine leather. To be really honest, um, I'm not sure when I would actually use this unless I really want to protect the watch. Um, I guess when I'm traveling, if I'm not wearing it, but I just figured I'd be wearing it. I'm just kind of looking through these little pouches here. Here's the warranty card. This is really cool. Let's get this out so you can see it better. Okay. Yeah, so the serial number is 199. The date is August 2020. The seller is Zellos. One year limited warranty. This is pretty cool. I'll just set this over here. All right, and finally the watch. I've been waiting, actually not that long, but it feels like forever because I was just so excited about owning my first Zellos watch. So here it is. I'm just trying to make sure you can see it in the camera. Wow. I'm just uh, taking the watch in, so I might not have a lot to say in these first few moments. But man, that does look nice. I'm just going to... I mean, I'm not going to resell this watch. Um, you know, give it away or just like keep it on the shelf. I'm actually going to wear it. Um, yeah, I've been really wanting a diver watch because of this rotating bezel and how useful it is in keeping time. Um, I'm a stay-at-home parent, so staying on schedule and uh, being on top of time and uh, you know calculating time with you know nap times and meal times and stuff like that is really important. So I actually bought this watch because of that rotating bezel, and of course there's plenty of divers and. You know digital watches and stuff out there but I also wanted a quality timepiece and uh, from everything you know all the YouTube reviews out there um, what people say about this brand Zealous Watches is a micro brand and um, you know I, I, I don't know I appreciate that I appreciate the hard hard-working guy in contrast to you know these huge companies uh, that you know put out who knows how many watches per year. Um, I like the kind of custom product, if I could use that word, that I feel like I'm getting with those watches. Um, sorry, I'm just taking all this off because I want to look at the watch, and I'm sure you do, without all this um, tape, this protective covering. So I'm going to just try to take this off as quickly as possible. And then I'll give you some really good, uh, you know, angles and all, all the angles, make sure you can see it well. So I really, again, I watch those videos, lots of videos, and I can't stand it when these reviewers, some of them seem to just, I don't know, they just keep look, moving around too much or they don't show all the angles, you know, and, uh, Oh, it's already... Oh, it's because I'm moving it, obviously. Okay, so the movement... And I'm not going to talk a lot about the specifications and the, the details of the watch because if you clicked on this video, it's probably because, um, one, you wanted the watch and it sold out so fast you couldn't get your hands on it and you want to, you know, you want to see what it's really like. Um, or, yeah, you just already know about this brand and, and you're interested in the, their newest release. And uh, by the way, um, you know, if you couldn't get your hands on this watch because it sold out, it does say on the website that in, um, in this month, in August 2020, a titanium version 
a little bit bigger, 42 millimeters, is going to be released. Um, so you should sign up for their newsletter if you haven't already, and just you know keep your eyes peeled on your inbox for that um, for that announcement. Um, all right, but uh, I might you know yeah, I'm going to talk about the details as I look at the watch. But again, I'm just kind of taking this in for the first time. It is this is it's heavy, and um, that's not a I'm not saying that as a criticism. I just so, you know, I'm, I'm just your everyday guy, um, just your average Joe. So this is only my, technically my second watch um, that I own. The other one I own is a Bertucci watch. It's um, all titanium, so it's super lightweight. Um, and so compared to that, I'm just, you know, holding this in my hand right now. It's, it is hefty. Like this is, this is not a cheap feeling watch at all whatsoever um, so yeah I still have the um, plastic covering on the dial I'm wondering if I should take that off or leave it I mean obviously I'm gonna take it off let's take it off this this um glass is actually um, sapphire crystal which is super super hard very very durable extremely resistant to scratches so i'm not afraid of taking this little plastic thing off of this watch and just um you know taking a look at it closer as it is i'm gonna try to give you guys some close-ups right now look at how the light just bounces off all the different surfaces of the watch, the bracelet, the dial, the bezel. There's the crown. It's a signed crown with the logo. At first I was kind of disappointed that the, lo uh, the crown here didn't have the loom painted on there, but I, I can understand why at the price point of $269 for this watch, um, yeah, you're not going to get all the features that some of their other models have. That's fine, because if that fits my budget, you know, and um, I know I'm getting a huge value for this watch. Sorry about all the shaking. I have my phone on a tripod and it's just a, yeah. Anyway, just look at that dial. So that's a teal color dial. It's um, the sunburst effect. It's just really cool how you can see the light shifting based on how you move the watch. It's really cool. It doesn't look cheap at all. You know, you can never really tell with pictures online, um, especially with these color dials. I mean, I'm not a watch expert by any means, um, but I do know to look for details and I know you know how hard it is sometimes when you're online shopping um, yeah I'm just admiring the the beauty of this watch right now and I'm gonna be honest I um the the Bertucci titanium watch that I own I'm actually not sure how big it is but I think I think the diameter is it, is, it definitely at least seems bigger than what I'm holding right now and I'm going to put this on my wrist so you can see um, what it looks like on the wrist. My wrist is a six and a half inch wrist, so I'm obviously going to have to adjust the bracelet here. That's what it looks like on a six and a half wrist. Just trying to get a good position on the camera. So there it is. I mean, it fits really well. I, I'm just a little bit surprised. I didn't realize what a 40 millimeter watch would look on me, would look like on my wrist. But it doesn't look tiny, but definitely looks, you know, compact. And I think it's a good size for my wrist, anyway. So there it is on my wrist. I'm gonna take this off. So again, I mentioned the price point, $269, which I'm sure you're aware of. Um, 
it's just a really good price for what you're getting with this watch. Again, if you're already familiar with Zelos watches, um, you know it's quality. It's a quality product, you know, crafted really well. Um, the NH35 movement I hear is reliable. And um, yeah, I've actually only owned, um, you know, battery watches growing up as a kid, battery powered. Um, never had automatic movement, so this will that'll be really cool to just experience and have for the first time Looks like I got some of that plastic protective film from the bracelet stuck on this part right here All right um, But yeah, the value of this watch um, You know in reference to the price that you pay for it. It's it's really amazing because you have the sapphire crystal that has the AF coating which is anti-reflective or AR coating sorry anti-reflective coating on the inside and that's why you're seeing when I you know show you the different angles and I have a lamp just a yard away from me um, you're not really seeing you, the, the dial you can see clearly the light is not preventing you from seeing um, what time it is it's very legible because of the AR coating and the crystal is sapphire, which is again a very, very hard crystal. I think um, the only harder material you can get is diamond. I mean, I might be wrong on that, but I think that's what I read. Um, I think Zillow's watches are also known for their loom and how powerful uh, um, the glow on the loom is in, at night or in the dark. And um, so I'm excited about that. And you also get a ceramic bezel. I think some of the the other models of this Swordfish 40 millimeter have the stainless steel bezel. I do believe this one is bezel, is a ceramic bezel. So I'm just going to do a close up and and show you the bezel turning. And I'm going to stay quiet so you can hear the clicks. So you could probably tell that it actually it's um I thought I you know I kind of feel some do you see that I feel a little bit of back play huh that's weird that's unexpected um I think you can probably see that with me in the video actually. That's really strange. There shouldn't be any backplay whatsoever. Um, the the actual clicking action is pretty solid. Um, it doesn't click easily. You have to use some effort, some force, which is which is actually a good problem. But look, look at that. Am I? I'm, that's not me being crazy. That's you, what is. There's, there's no back play here for some reason. I feel something. I don't know if you can see that in the camera. That's something I might have to bring up with Elshan, the owner of this brand. That's just really strange. Why is there... It, it really shouldn't jiggle back and forth like that, right? I mean, I'm not an expert, but in the other, for um, the other Zealous watches, in the review videos I've seen, um, everyone mentions how there's just, it's just solid, there's no back plate, but there's clearly some movement here. Um, yeah, sorry, that's just really bothering me. But again, um, you know, I think in my just daily use, that's not going to be an issue, but uh, it's just surprising. Um, sorry about the shaking in the video again. So yeah, I'm just going to set this back to the top. That That is weird. Maybe it's just me moving the click 
you know, to the left counterclockwise um, before it actually clicks. And so that it appears to have back play. I don't know if that's what I'm doing. But yeah, when I try to go clockwise, I mean, I'm using pr pretty good amount of force. It's not moving. So maybe, yeah, maybe that's just because I'm a watch noob. So I'm just going to, okay, set it back here. We'll move on from the bezel. But uh, yeah, ceramic, ceramic bezel, which means that that's super tough too. It's not going to break easily. And so, yeah, I, I've, you know, I said uh, I really wanted a diver. There's so many different divers out there, so many brands. And uh, if you've done your research like me, you know that some diver watches actually don't even have the unidirectional bezel. Um, in other words, it you can turn it each way, which is actually um, a really bad thing for someone who's going to use this watch, uh, use that kind of watch for um, for actual diving, uh, because in the timekeeping function that it serves. So, for example, right now it's set at you know five fifty five. Um, I'm going to set the you know whatever that mark is, that starting mark, right at that minute. And now as time passes on, the minute hand's going to move, obviously. And you're going to see how much time has passed on, you know, for example, five minutes, 10 minutes and so on. And that's really important for a diver to keep track of the time uh, they are underwater with their oxygen supply. I'm not a diver. I've never dived, but um, but you get the point. You don't want the bezel to turn this way because then it's going to appear as if, uh, you know, the, the time that has lapsed is going to be inaccurate. Um, so, yeah, I really want a diver. I wanted a solid bezel. You know, I didn't want too much, you know, too many markings on the bezel. Um, I wanted it loomed. I wanted a ceramic bezel because in my daily use, especially with my one-year-old, um, I'm going to be wearing this uh, maybe even in my sleep. But, uh, yeah, it's going to take some, it's going to take some beating. So I, I need it to be durable. And, again, the sapphire crystal, that's, you know, that's really awesome to to have because I don't have to worry about this being banged up um, when I'm out and about or when I'm playing with my kid, you know, things like that. So, yeah, I don't know if there's what else I want to mention. The bracelet has had some updates, which I'm really happy about because honestly, I saw the Swordfish V2, the version 2, um, on YouTube and... Yeah, the bracelet just seemed like really just generic, um, you know, really boxy and honestly just kind of uh, unattractive. But this bracelet has been improved. I'm just reading this off his website. Um, the end links are improved and the chamfers are polished on all the edges of the links. So, you know, I'm trying to show you that on video. You can see as the light's dancing across the different angles. Um, you know, you see the polished chamfers. You also see the the face of these links. It's it's brushed, but it's not brushed too heavily. You know, um, you know, just I think really just the right amount. And the, I think the clasp has also been improved. I don't think this one features the the ex extension or the um, you know for divers they're gonna wear this over a wetsuit um, or their scuba suit and you know it's gonna have to be wider and so there's like a function but uh, yeah I think this is just a regular clasp which I'm fine with so I'm not gonna be going diving with this watch it's just for everyday purpose um, here's the back case back make sure I show you that well it's kind of hard I'm going to unclasp it so you can see there's that swordfish um, design graphic that's pretty cool I'm not particularly into the swordfish you know as like an animal but I like the concept and you can read about it on the website if you want, but I, I always appreciate it when there's you know some kind of design concept or you know intentionality to the naming um, of products, whether it's a watch or you know whatever. Um, yeah, so 
I'm I'm happy with this watch. I'm just, you know, that bezel action was just kind of freaked me out. Yeah, it's not it's not moving. Um, it doesn't seem to have the back brace. See? I don't know. I'm gonna have to look look at that closer. I'm not gonna keep talking about that, you know, for for your sake. Um, but yeah, here it is. This is the Swordfish 40 millimeter with the teal sunburst dial, NH35 movement. Um, you can see the second hand is hacking, and there's the date dial. There's a few more close-ups. I'm going to be keeping an eye on how this video does, if it's well received and you know, it's been informational, it's helped you. Ultimately, I made this video just to share my experience of having, um, you know, receiving my first Zealous watch, as well as providing a video for anyone who you know, uh, has never seen one in person uh, and just wants to have a better idea of what they might get if they purchase one in the future. Um, yeah, I really like this detail on the bezel here too. It doesn't look too, you know, it's, it's um, you know, helps you get that grip, but it doesn't look too utilitarian. It's, you know, the watch still, it feels elegant. You can wear it to work. You can wear it to, you know, formal gatherings if there ever will be again you know with COVID but so yeah I uh, if you have any questions please uh, comment um, give me a like that would just help me um, get more traffic to the video and again if it does well um, yeah I'm gonna just be reviewing other products that I enjoy um, Again, like outdoor clothing and gear, other EDC items, um, I don't know, wallets, gadgets, things like that. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed it.